get down to business and meet the first singer who thinks they deserve the title of the People's Crooner. It's Glenn McNamara from Fife. Tell us, I mean, when did you start getting into this kind of music? Because for younger folk, it's often regarded as a bit old folky isn't it? Yeah, well, I think so. When I was about 14, I started singing Frank Sinatra, and I was frightened to tell friends of mine at the same age because I would have been ripped to shreds, yeah, you know. So they were yeah. all listening to stuff that was much cooler. Pop stuff, yeah, yeah. it's all about, yeah. So. What do you do now? I, I, I sing as much as possible and perform as much as I can, and uh, I work in a theatre at the moment. So, right. yeah, Doing what? Good. As a technician. Ah, yeah. Right, so yeah. you're, you're close to it, but not quite in it yet. Behind the scenes. So, so why is this so important? Because I think um, I think this kind of music's had a, a, a turnaround with popularity, um, and I think there's a space now for somebody to take it with, in, within Britain to take it to the next level. Well, let's see if it's going to be you taking it to the next level. Take to Thank the microphone, singing the Dean Martin classic "Sway." It's Glenn McNamara. <laughs> Rhythm start to play, dance with me, make me sway like a lazy ocean hugs the shore. Hold me close, sway me more like a flower bending in the breeze. Bend with me, sway with ease. When you dance, you have a way with me. Stay. Other dancers may be on the floor Dear, but my eyes will see only you Only you have that magic technique When we sway, I go weak I can hear the sound of violence Long before it begins Make me thrill as only you know how Sway me smooth, sway me now like a flower bending in the breeze Bend with me, sway with these When you dance, you have a way with me Stay with me, sway with me When marimba start to play Hold me close, make me sway And as my mother would say, he's got a lovely smile. <laughs> so, what do you think about that? I think it was great. You've got a great voice. You've got a lovely, lovely voice. Um, that song's all about passion. Mm. That song is a sort of Latin, fiery, passionate song. And I think you were a bit British in your passion. Oh. And you need a little <laughs> bit more. in front of you. So, what do you think to our crooners? Well, I've got to be honest. For me, it was the first one. Really? Was it Glenn? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought. I actually thought that his tuning was impeccable. I was listening to him sing backstage, and his pitch was, was absolutely... It sounded like a recording. It was incredible. I thought the other two were very, very good singers yeah, as well, but yeah. I thought he was really, so really Glenn good. Glenn McNamara was your... Well, hopefully... Yeah. It'll, Are you having it? It may, <laughs> it may lead with any luck to something for them. The problem is it's been so difficult in all of the heats. Yes. They've all been good. There's nobody thought, oh, no, get them out. It's been, I'm glad I didn't have to judge. No, they, they, they were all good. And also, he was outside having a cigarette, which is what crooners do. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him outside. He says, you're a crooner, lad. <laughs> How do you think Frank Sinatra got that voice? Absolutely. Yes, Two bourbons as well. I yeah. did see him drinking the bourbon, though. Well, <laughs> it's very generous of you to talk about them. Let's talk about you. It is wonderful.